my scholars, we are going to look at Teague 4.3a. It says, I can represent a fraction a over b as a sum of fractions 1 over b. So let's just look at that part right now. You are representing a fraction, and b, let's just say b is 3, so it's going to be like 1 third. Or let's say b is 4, so it'll be 1 fourth. b is 5, 1 fifth. You're going to just look at it as piece by piece, okay? And so they're saying where A and B are whole numbers, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, you know, and so forth, B has to be greater than 1, including when A is greater than B. So, okay, so let's start with this one right here. So 1 half plus 1 half equals 2 halves. I know that's two halves because I have two pieces and they are in halves. So that's how it looks. Let's look at the next one. So looking at this, these are thirds. The reason I put the one above it is because I want you to understand that we are going up until one whole. So I would have one third plus one third plus one third. So how many total do I have? I have three thirds. So I want you to notice that I'm adding the top numbers, but the bottom number seems to stay the same. Why? Because I am still in thirds. If I actually added the bottom number, which would be really weird, that's like saying three ninths. Well, this is not cut into ninths. And actually, three thirds, when you simplify it, if you've, uh, looked at my um, lessons on how to simplify, it actually equals one-third. So you're basically saying one-third plus one-third plus one-third equals one-third, and that doesn't make sense. So one-third plus one-third plus one-third equals three-thirds. This is where you are representing a sum of fractions. Let's look at the next one. One-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth equals one, two, three, four fourths. Notice again, you add the top number, but you do not add the bottom number because this is still in fourths. And that's what this teak is talking about. You're representing a uh, fraction A over B as a sum of fractions as 1 over B. You are going piece by piece, 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth. Where A and B are whole numbers and B is greater than 0, B is the bottom number, so these are greater than 0, and A can be greater than B, which I will talk about as I go through all these examples. So next one, let's look at fifths. 1 fifth plus 1 fifth plus 1 fifth plus 1 fifth plus 1 fifth equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 fifths. Okay, 1 sixth plus 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 1 more sixth equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 out of 6. So hopefully you're picking up on the pattern now. I went ahead and wrote this one out so you could see. 1 eighth plus 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 1 eighth equals 8 eighths. Here's another one, one tenth plus 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 one tenth equals ten tenths. Now, I do want to clarify that, you know, they might tell you what which of the following is a sum of nine tenths. So then in that situation, you would have that much written. One of those tenths would be gone, and then you would have that. So it doesn't always have to equal up until the one whole. It can equal nine tenths. They can say which of the following equals seven tenths, which of the following is a sum of five tenths, you know, and it would just be that much to equal it. doesn't always have to equal uh, ten tenths or eight eighths or seven sevens or, you know, whatever. 
All right, and the last one is 12 12s. 112 plus 112 plus 112 plus 112 plus 112 plus 112 plus 12 112 plus 112 plus 112 plus 112 plus 112 plus 112 equals 12 twelfths. So if I were to ask, what is the sum of fractions that represent 5 eighths? This is what it would look like. 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth equals 5 eighths. So to write it, now if they specifically ask for unit fractions, it has to be in like 1 over 1 over 8, 1 over 8, 1 over 8, 1 over 8, 1 over 8. But if it doesn't say unit fractions and it just says sum of fractions, there are actually multiple answers you can give for this. So you could say 2 eighths plus 3 eighths equals 5 eighths. You could say 4 eighths plus 1 eighth equals, whoops, 5 eighths. There are many different ways to show a sum. You know, it's just like, it's just like saying, you know, what are different ways to write the sum of 5? Okay, I could say 5 plus 0. I could say 4 plus 1. I could say 3 plus 2. I could say 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. You know, so it's the same thing. They're asking what are different ways to show 5 eighths. Well, I can do it all as a unit. I can do 2 eighths plus 3 eighths, or I can do 4 eighths plus 1 eighth, or um, I could even say 5 eighths plus 0 eighths. Many, many different ways to show this. Okay, so the question is sum of fractions to represent 9 twelfths. So here is 9 twelfths. So instead of writing it out first, I'm going to just show you different ways. So I can do 1 12 plus 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 1 12 equals 9, you know, equals 9 twelfths. However, you know, 1 12 plus 9 times, basically. Or I can do 2 twelfths plus 2 twelfths plus 2 twelfths plus 2 twelfths plus 1 twelfth. I can do 3 twelfths plus 3 twelfths plus 3 twelfths. I can do 4 twelfths plus 4 twelfths plus 1 twelfth. I can do 5 twelfths plus 4 twelfths. I can do 8 twelfths plus 1 twelfth. I can do 7 twelfths plus 2 twelfths. 6 twelfths plus 3 twelfths. Many, many different ways. Now, if they specifically say unit fractions, then you have to do one by one. Okay, it's your turn. I want you to show me a sum of fractions representing five sixths. And remember, there are many different ways, but I also want you to include the unit fraction way. Press pause and then press play when you're ready to check. So here are the different answers. You can write one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth. You can do two sixths plus two sixths equals one sixth. You can do three sixths plus two sixths. You can do four sixths plus one sixth also. And here's how all of them would be written. Now, you can also have it written 1 sixth plus 4 sixths. You know, it's, it's the same thing. Um, you know, they can be out of order. So these are different ways to show 5 sixths. Okay, I want you to show a sum of fractions representing 3 fifths. Actually, let's change that to 5 fifths. And I want you to include the unit, the unit fraction. Okay, so we have one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth. We have four fifths plus one fifth. We have two fifths plus two fifths plus one fifth. We have three fifths plus two fifths. Many different ways you can do this, and here's how they would be written. Okay, so let's talk about the second part of this teak where it says including where a is greater than b, meaning the numerator is larger than the denominator. So in this situation, sum of fractions that represent 8 sixths. So first of all, the easy part is you just break it into 8 1 sixths. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1 6 plus 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 1 6. Now, how does that look in... Uh, manipulatives. So I don't have two sets of sixths. I just have um, one where they're bar fractions, but then I also have the uh, circle pieces. And so, you know, I don't have a choice but to use them. It's going to be a little weird, 
but just, you know, that's a sixth and that's also a sixth. So these are eight sixths. And so, you know, that's one way to write it where you break them up individually. Another way could be three six plus three six plus two sixths. You could even do seven sixths plus one sixth, you know, whatever, just like the other examples. But one thing I want you to know is that six sixths equals one whole. Okay, so let's look at this again. Six six equals one whole. So right here is going to create one whole bar. And so then if you look, I have two pieces left over. So that's these two right here. So it's like saying I have one whole and two sixths. Okay, let's look at another example. Sum of fractions to represent nine fifths. So one way to write this is one fifth plus one fifth, one fifth, four of them, five of them, six of them, seven of them, eight of them, nine of them, okay? And so here's how it would look. One fifth, 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 one fifth. I know that the pieces don't match, but just, you know, work with me here. So um, what you need to understand is that five fifths equal one whole. So when I look at this here, one, two, three, four, five. These five here equal one whole. And then I have one, two, three, four fifths left over, which is this right here, one, two, three, four. So four fifths. Okay, let's look at sum of fractions to represent 21 twelfths. So you could write them all individually, one by one, which is going to take some time, so give me a second. Ta-da! Okay, so these are all written as a unit fraction, but remember I could have 6 12 plus 6 12 plus 11 12, you know, they can all be bunched up together. But for this, I'm going to show you that looking at this, we know 12 12 equals one whole. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, from here to here, that's one whole. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 twelfths right here are my extras and so I have one whole and nine twelfths. So I want you to write the sum of ten sixths as uh, unit fractions and I want you to write the mixed number like one and you know however many left over. What helps is if you write them out as unit fractions and then circle how many equal one whole and then look at the remainder. Press pause and press play when you're ready. So here is 10 sixths, and I know 6 sixths equals 1 whole. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1 whole, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 is my extra. I want you to do this one now. This one will go over 2 whole, so don't be alarmed if you know, you're a little lost. See if you can do this on your own. Press pause and press play when you're ready. Okay, so here is nine fourths written. So I know four fourths equal one whole. So that's one whole, that's two whole, and then there's my extra. Remember, if you don't know how how many equal um, one whole, remember, you know, think how many fourths does it take to create one whole? So like, here's a little visual for you. It's Four fourths, so one, two, three, four. So that's why I count. Whoops. That's why I count one, two, three, four. That's one whole. One, two, three, four. That's another whole, and then one fourth as my leftover. Here are four more that I want you to do. I want you to put them in uh, unit form, and then I want you to put it in mixed number. You know, like one whole and however many left over. Some of these do go into two or three even. Here are the answers. 